Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Hey guys, I'm Rebecca from Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 oh shit moments in movies. Oh, darn. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. These are gonna be scenes in which characters realize they are in for a whole world of trouble. They don't literally have to say oh shit though. Also, they're all pretty climactic moments, so a spoiler alert is now in effect. Let the games begin. Number 10, Zorg sees the second bomb, the fifth element. I know this music. There's a reason arch villains don't do their own dirty work. Until this moment, corrupt industrialist Zorg is always one step ahead thanks to the guidance of Mr. Shadow and the brute force of his Mangalore mercenaries. But when the Mangalores fail to obtain the keys to a powerful superweapon, Zorg decides to get his hands dirty. I know. After defusing his own bomb, he seems to be in the clear. Until the Mangalores activate their own, much larger device. Oh no. You should hold on. Number 9. The Beast Jumps the Fence, The Sandlot Who dares face the Beast? According to local lore, the savage English Mastiff has literally eaten thieves, bones and all. But the stakes are high after the Sandlot kids hit a baseball signed by Babe Ruth into the Beast's backyard. With the help of new kicks, team leader Benny dares to enter the monster's lair. A moment of celebration turns into awful realization. It turns out that for such a stocky dog, the beast is a pretty fantastic jumper. Oh shit! <laughs> Number 8. Brand sees the waves, Interstellar. Water is the building block of life. But as the crew of the Endurance evaluates conditions for a potential colony, it soon becomes apparent there is more to this world than meets the eye. The scientist who gave the planet a thumbs up is nowhere to be seen. And as Dr. Brand wades out to retrieve her data, the mountains on the horizon seem to be coming closer. Those aren't mountains. The waves. Oh shit. Oh shit. Colossal waves are pushing across the planet's surface and soon loom over the crew. Brand, get back here now! Terrifying for them, thrilling for the audience. <laughs> Number 7. Surrounded on the Bridge Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. In a classic case of out of the frying pan and into the fire, the intrepid archaeologist and his companions escape a flooded mine only to be cornered on a rickety wooden bridge hanging precariously over crocodile infested waters. Oh, shit. As Indiana looks from side to side, he realizes he's all out of options, except for the one that's completely nuts. Oh, out of the way! Hefting his machete high, he takes aim at the bridge's support ropes and swings. <laughs> Number 6. Wolverine sees Lady Deathstrike's finger knives. X2, X-Men United. We all like to think we're special, but it turns out Wolverine isn't as unique as he thought. I used to think you were one of a kind, Wolverine. Deep in Colonel William Stryker's base, the mutant faces his past as an experimental subject of the government's clandestine Weapon X program. He also confronts Stryker's assistant, Eureko, also known as Lady Deathstrike. Holy shit. With the same healing factor as Logan and similar adamantium claws, she's almost a match for the grizzled mutant, who only escapes due to luck and quick thinking. Number 5. That's no moon. Star Wars Episode 4, A New Hope. Look at him, he's heading for that small moon. I think I can get him before he gets there. He's almost in range. The Death Star is massive, dwarfing even the gigantic Star Destroyers. So it's no wonder that Luke mistakes it at first for a natural satellite. It's the older and wiser Obi-Wan who realizes the horrible truth. That's no moon. That moon is an Imperial battle station, and it's just annihilated the planet Alderaan. Worse, it soon has the Millennium Falcon in its tractor beam's inexorable grip. 
but there are alternatives to fighting. Number four, a present from Matilda, Leon the Professional. Ah, the bond between hitman and child. Matilda's thirst for vengeance runs deep after corrupt DEA agent Norman Stansfield murders her family. But after her plans go awry, it's up to her hitman guardian Leon to avenge them. As Stansfield looks down at what the dying Leon has handed to him, he realizes he's done for. Shit. It's a grenade pin, and Leon is wearing enough explosives to blow the whole building sky high. It's over! The game's over! Leon's dead! Number three, the Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man, Ghostbusters. It's actually pretty hard to not think anything, so we can't really blame Ray for failing Evil God Gozer's final challenge. It just popped in there. While the rest of the team manages to keep their minds carefully blank, Ray accidentally remembers a childhood mascot, the Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man. What did you do, Ray? Oh, shit. Well, how scary could a man made of marshmallow be? As it turns out, a 112 and a half foot tall version of the mascot is pretty destructive, especially when set on fire. Well, there's something you don't see every day. Number two, the T-Rex arrives. Jurassic Park. As the T-Rex approaches, there is a string of oh shit moments for the park's guests. For Tim, it's the vibration of water in the glasses on the dash to the beat of massive footsteps. Where's the goat? For Lex, realization begins to dawn with the thump of a bloody goat's leg onto the Jeep's sunroof. And that's when things get bad. These collective oh shits are summed up in Dr. Alan Grant's stare as the king of the dinosaurs bellows into the night. Before we reveal the identity of our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. Oh shit. Fuck her up, Buttercup. What? There is Bueller's online too. Number one, shark attack, Jaws. Yeah, it really does suck to be right sometimes. After a shark attacks a swimmer, police chief Martin Brody races to close the beaches. You yell shark. We've got a panic on our hands on the 4th of July. Amity's mayor has other ideas, insisting the attack was really a boating accident. As Brody rests uneasily on the beach, children splash about in the water. When it comes, the oh shit moment arrives complete with dolly zoom. There is a shark hunting in the waters around Amity, and it is a big one. What would make you say oh shit the most? A dinosaur? A shark? A giant marshmallow man? Oh my god, I just invented a franchise that combines all three and that would be amazing. Anyway, let us know your take in the comments, be sure to like and subscribe, and of course check out these other videos if you want to keep yourselves occupied. Oh shit! <laughs>